here at Zoo Montana, the otters are a fan favorite. They're cute and cuddly, but there's a lot about these animals that people don't know. When they feel threatened, they can be dangerous. It was supposed to be a relaxing day on the river, a birthday celebration for Jen Royce with two of her best friends, but it ended with the trio fighting for their lives. Jen still has a long road to recovery ahead of her and isn't ready to speak out about the incident, but did want to share her account of what happened. She writes on social media, the attack began just before dark when she noticed an otter behind her friend, but says, quote, I didn't even have a chance to get the words, there is an otter behind you out of me before it attacked her. Within seconds, all three women were under attack. Royce writes, This thing was vicious and relentless. It bit my face in several places, both of my ears, my arms, my hands, my leg, my thighs, and my ankle. My friends were bit on the hands and on their bottom. One friend's thumb was shredded and she had bite marks all over her body as well. Jen says that because they were in the middle of the river, she was unable to reach the bottom with her feet, making it tough to defend herself. Writing, we were helpless. I tried to kick it away, but I would just get attacked somewhere else. I tried to hold it back at one point by grabbing its arm to hold it away while trying to swim closer to shore. In the wild, they are pretty territorial animals, especially around their young. Jeff Ewalt is the executive director of Zoo Montana. While he doesn't know why the animals attacked, he says otters can be dangerous. You can only do so much to fight back, again, when you're in the water. Those teeth, I mean, they're carnivores. They're built to eat crustaceans and fish, so powerful bite on them. They've got some pretty good claws as well, but it's really that mouth that you gotta, you gotta watch for. Jen Royce and her friends know that all too well. She thought she was going to die, writing, quote, With all my heart, I did not think I was not going to wake up if I closed my eyes and passed out. I made the choice, knowing the pain it would cause my friend to tell her I loved her and to ask her to watch over my kids. Royce and her friends waited 53 long minutes on the riverbank for help to arrive. Royce has since undergone surgery and lost half of her right ear, her ankles, legs, arm, and face were also badly punctured. But she's thankful to be alive after the fight of her life. Fighting back is going to be the best option because they're not going to give up on you. They're going to, especially if you're in the water, they're going to try to eliminate the threat. Alina Howder, MTN News.